You're watching BaseNet Internet Television, a BaseNet Intermedia Group company. This is Jill Hindley reporting today from the Jimmy Fun Scooper Bowl once again. It's a beautiful day and this is the nation's largest all-you-can-eat ice cream festival which simultaneously feeds ice cream lovers of all ages and supports cancer research at Dana-Farber. Uh, so this is a great day for it. We just heard Sweet Caroline playing in the background which is that famous Boston Red Sox seventh inning song and we're all feeling very Boston strong today here on Boston City Plaza and ironically because the Jimmy Fund is the fundraising arm of the Boston Red Sox so we have it's a very spirited afternoon here and when you come in here for the all-you-can-eat ice cream scooper bowl they just give you your spoon and then you can go from vendor to vendor and pick out of 30 different flavors so so there's uh, many vendors today. We're going to try lots of ice cream and we actually have two very special ice cream eaters with us today. Little guys. We've got a 10 year old named Graydon and a 7 year old named Heidi and they are going to be very important ice cream tasters. So we're excited to check in with them. We're also going to hear later from Larry the Lobster because he's been eating ice cream and, and he needs no introduction. We're with Matthew here, and he's a volunteer. You're, in fact, officially you're a scooper. What is it called? The scooper crew. Scooper crew. Do, yeah. do a spin for us. <laughs> See, Whoops. scooper crew. Jimmy Fun scooper crew. Matthew, where are you from? Norwood, Mass. Oh, okay. I'm down here volunteering with uh, Bank of America. A group of us came down here today okay. to volunteer. So. Oh, cool. So Bank of America, you live in Norwood, and you're here for today, and you're part of the scooper crew. Uh, yeah, just, and you've even got beads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, just volunteering, you know, supporting the Jimmy Fund. Uh, it's great weather. It's uh, summertime. Great people. Everybody's having a good time. So enjoying ice cream. So yeah, that's and it is a great cause. I mean, and it raises a lot of uh, you know a good amount for the Jimmy Fund every every year. So we're happy to be here too. Thank you. Great. Thanks a lot. Take care. This year is Scooper Bowl number 31. So it started back in the early 80s with only a handful of vendors, and it has grown so much. This past year, about 40,000 people have come in. You can just pay one flat price, $10 for adults, $5 for kids, and you truly can eat all the ice cream that you can handle. This year we have Ben and Jerry's, Baskin Robbins, Briars, and Edie's, Friendly's, Hood, Blue Bunny, and another vendor named Fresh Mango. As much as this is a fundraising event for the Jimmy Fund, FedEx is the main underwriter, main sponsor for this event. So thank you to FedEx for providing this great day and this opportunity opportunity not just to have all the ice cream you can eat, but also raising money for the Jimmy Fund for Dana Farber Hospital in Boston. So with that, I think I'm going to turn this over to all the crowd out there. We're going to get some great interviews, talk to the kids about what kind of ice cream flavors they're enjoying, and just enjoy a great Boston afternoon. Here we are with some very special ice cream eaters, and look at their cups. We've only, they've only been out and about here at the Scooper Bowl for about five to ten minutes and they're already on number five, number five for Graydon four. and number four for Heidi. Tell us about what flavors you've gotten so far. I got three mint chocolate chips. Three of the same one? And one vanilla. Three mint and one vanilla. I've got rainbow sherbet. Oh, that's a big one. I know who likes that. Mint chocolate chip. Vanilla and a couple more. And a couple more. Okay. So, have you seen as you've been as you've been walking around? Have you seen anything that you really want to try? Any different br other brands? Kind of. Yeah. Kind of. Okay. So, how many think? How many cups do you think you can eat today? Ten. Ten? Oh, you got to go higher than that. How about you, Heidi? A lot. A lot. All right. Well, we'll check back with these two special ice cream eaters, and we'll see where they're at in just a little bit. 
I'm here with Jessica and Julian, and they caught our eye right when we were walking through the crowd because look at these cups. <laughs> they have been doing some serious work here at the Scooper Bowl. Where are you guys from? Attleboro. Attleboro, uh, Mass. Yep. Mm -hmm. Down there, I know where, well, where I'm from too, down that way. And I want to know, Julian, it looks like you've got a few more than, than Jessica, but 14, 14 cups. And are you still going strong? Uh, probably. <laughs> You've got I'm You've got done. <laughs> I'm impressed. Yeah. <laughs> Catch up a little. Um, and so, I, first of all, I love your t-shirt with the Celtics 1946. I mean, yeah, that the throwback. That's fabulous. I'm a big Celtics fan. Um, but what is your what were your top two f favorite flavors, Julian? Oh, uh, the rock and pop, rocking popping cotton candy over at Friendlies, and then the fudge over at Hood. Pop and pop and cotton candy. Yeah, the co I mean, kids love the cotton candy. Holy cow wasn't bad either. Oh, holy cow, what was in that one? It was peanut butter with like peanut butter cups in it. Okay, and your favorite flavor? I actually liked holy cow too and cookies and cream. What's your favorite ice cream flavor today? Um, it's this, it's the one, it's the peanut butter cup. Um, I got that one at Friendly's. That one was nice. Um, the, um, Celebration one. Oh, the family celebration. celebration. Cypher, Cypher, okay. Cypher, real quick. Cypher. All right. Cypher. So tell me your favorite flavors, because I'm. You got a lot of cups. That's pretty good. Yeah, I did my best. You've been doing some. What have you guys been doing here? <laughs> well, they, I think they've already. I uh, threw all mine out, but uh, mine was okay. espresso chocolate chip. It was the '80s. It was terrific. Okay, cool. I think I like the peanut butter cup. Yeah, I've been hearing that a lot. Uh, the nuts over caramel at Friendlies. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm here with Parmjit, and he is the owner of the Fresh Mango, and this is your first year at the Scooper Bowl? Yeah, this is my first year. They, are, they just, like, I was trying to get in, like, next year, then they give me two-day notice, oh. so then uh, I made it happen. Oh, I guess two-day notice to make this, that's not an easy task. <laughs> I'm loving it. I'm everybody happy, like, they're eating yogurt, so it's good stuff. It is stuff yes and it's such a good cause to you know uh, to support the Jimmy fund and and I think this is it's really nice of you to get to have to work so fast and get it together and, and get here uh, I get great help so they gave me good volunteers so I get great people there. yeah we're gonna talk to him uh, okay I just wondered where where is Fresh Mango located where's your headquarters yeah we on a downtown crossing by 34th Brownfield Street by Silverton sidebar like that's like pretty much is right next to Suffolk University Okay, right. So downtown crossing area. Well, thanks for being, you know, like I said, uh, it's just a couple yeah. of days. We are local. Please support the local people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're not a franchise, so we're trying to get back on the feet. Okay. Fresh mango. Please support fresh mango in downtown crossing. And you have, tell me the flavors you brought with you today. Yeah, we got like a mango, regional, orange, and we got another flavor in the truck is called Oreo. Oreo. Oreo? Oreo, yes. You work for Fresh Mango. I do, yeah. I just started last week. Well, you got this cool, cool shirt on here. Tell me a little bit about the, um, I know the flavors that you have. Are there other flavors at the shop that we can look forward to if we come in? Yeah, our flavors are hazelnut, mango, orange, and original, like Paul said and stuff. And it's also not here today, but you can get toppings, and there's a wide variety of those. Yeah, so people love those. I'm here with a couple of lovely ladies at the Scooper Bowl. What's your um, What's your name and where are you from? My name is Kay. I'm from Hawaii. Oh, cool. She's from Hawaii. I'm Jen. I'm from New Jersey. New Jersey. <laughs> we got to give you some like New Jersey love. <laughs> I like Hawaii. So I just want to know what your favorite flavors were. If you have one favorite or a couple. The chocolate chip. Yeah. Bunny. Blue bunny chocolate Big chip. Big fan of blue bunny ice also cream. Big fan of the white Russian from um, Ben and Jerry's. Super good. So we're we're wrapping up here at the Scooper Bowl, and I wanted to check back in with this special Heidi. Heidi, how old are you? Seven. And and where are you from? Norfolk, Massachusetts. And this is your first time at the Scooper Bowl, yes? Yeah. And have you had fun? Yes. I understand that Heidi's uh, brother, who was here with us earlier, has a stomach ache, so he's not able to inter have an interview because he ate too much ice cream. But I guess isn't that the point of the Scooper Bowl, right? All you can eat ice cream. What was your very favorite of all the ones you tried? I don't know. They're they're all really good. I'm he's still here at the Scooper Bowl with a man who needs no introduction. He's a contributing correspondent with Basenet, Larry the Lobster.
Well, good afternoon and well, welcome to the Scooper Bowl. You, I understand you had a lot of ice cream today. Do you want to tell us how many cups and your favorite flavors? My guess is about 10 to 12. That's, 10 to 12 is not bad. Yeah, no, not bad at all. <laughs> what was your fav top two favorite flavors? Well, I love the cookies and cream, and there was this um, raspberry yogurt type flavor, which was excellent. Okay, awesome. And what would vendor you'd say was your favorite that had the best variety? Uh, really no particular vendor that I can think of, <laughs> but I know that I definitely want to try this Liz Lemon's Greek yogurt from Ben and Jerry's. Ooh. And I definitely want to try the fresh mango yeah. yogurt or, you know, whatever that's that from, was. That's from Fresh Mango, which is a place that we should all visit on Downtown Crossing. So, hey, they were just singing happy birthday. It's not your birthday, Larry, is it? No, not yet, thank God. All right, Larry the Lobster from the Scooper Bowl. Thanks, Larry. So that just about wraps things up here at the Scooper Bowl. Did I mention this is the nation's largest all-you-can-eat ice cream festival? It's very impressive, and the ice cream is delicious. I've tried a couple. I'm going to go eat some more. I've got my spoon still somewhere in my pocket. Um, so what's important to mention is that not only is this fun, people leave work, you know, and play hooky and come here and hang out and eat a bunch of ice cream during their lunch break or afternoon sometime, and we got to talk to some people who are doing that. So it's not just kind of fun in that way, it's also such an important event for the Jimmy Fund. And the Jimmy Fund actually was founded in 1948, so it's been, that has been a huge fundraising piece for Dana-Farber for cancer research and patient care all the way back to 1948. And the Jimmy Fund and the Red Sox have been partnered up for 60 years as well. So. It's just a great, really fun event, and we're so pleased at BaseNet that we can uh, cover it every year. And it was fun to have a couple extra special ice cream eaters with us today uh, to, to share what they liked. And, and it's always fun to talk to the kids about their favorite flavors. There's so many. So for Jill Hindley at the Jimmy Fun Scooper Bowl 2013 about Boston.